All right, welcome back, folks. Uh, a little more on the Trump discussion and a special treat. Joining us is Alabama Senator Katie Britt, author of the terrific book, God Calls Us to Do Hard Things, Lessons from the Alabama Wiregrass. Katie, uh, Senator Britt, thank you for coming back on. Let me hear, we've been talking about Trump and the Sean Hannity interview last night in various iterations. Um, I've got one for you. Take a listen to this one, please. We have people going around really destroying our country. They're destroying our country at the border. They've, they will allow, in my opinion, because you don't hear the real numbers, 15 million people into our country by the time Biden gets out, which hopefully will be very soon. There you have it. Uh, Senator Britt, I read your editorial in the local newspaper. Um, Mr. Trump put part of it out on his Make America Great mailing list. Um, tell us what you think about what he just said, and is that a key reason why you are announcing your support for Mr. Trump for president? Absolutely. There is one candidate that we know will secure the border and do it on day one, and that is President Trump. If you look at what's happening right now, Larry, here we are on a day where yesterday there were over 12,000 encounters at the border, over 10,000 between the ports of entry. You saw the crowd's reaction to President Trump when he said, on day one, I will secure the border. He then went on to say, we will drill. People were responding. Responding to that. People were on their feet. They want those policies back in place, and they know when Donald Trump is back in the White House, that's exactly what is going to happen. Was there any particular trigger for you to, you know, pick now to endorse him? I mean, we're thrilled to have you on a show, first of all, uh, anytime. Thank you. But I mean, was there a, a special trigger, or maybe it's just that this border problem is now boiled over? It's just gone too far. And, you know, People like yourself with strong principles and strong backbone have to stand up and be counted. Absolutely, we do. And I'll tell you, President Trump has an insurmountable lead, and it's for the reasons you just said. People are looking at the chaos there. We know that it is not only a humanitarian crisis. As I've mentioned to you, I went to the border three times my first two mm. months in office. I heard about victims being raped. I, I heard about children being recycled, men becoming indentured servants. We know those people aren't living an American dream. They're living an American nightmare. We also are seeing what's happening with open borders. We we know what's happening abroad. We know that the Biden administration has no idea who's coming over the border. You saw Senator Lindsey Graham ask the question, where are the terrorists in this nation? And they could not answer the question. We know that Donald Trump will secure the border. He will put back in the Remain in Mexico policy. He will make sure that we finish building physical barriers, build the wall, mm. put up uh, technological barriers that will keep our country safe. At a time where we have more fentanyl deaths than ever, the leading cause of death between the ages of 18 to 40. 45. I, for one, am sick of sitting across of moms and dads who have lost their loved ones to fentanyl poisoning. We know that President Trump will put an end to this, and he will do it, as he said, on day one. Yeah, on day one. Um, Senator, what is going on on this subject in the Senate? I mean, I hear Biden today um, blowing smoke at us. I hate to say it. I don't mean to be personal. I'm interested in principles, not personalities. But really, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, whom I've known forever and ever, still blowing smoke. I mean, you're going to have to have a border peace. Mitch McConnell is standing up. I wouldn't exactly say he's a far-right Republican, but Mitch McConnell's standing up and saying there's got to be a change in border policy. You can't just hand out money for more babysitters and paper pushers down there. What's going to happen in your judgment? That's exactly right. And that's exactly what the Biden administration is asking for. They are asking for more money to facilitate mass yeah. migration. That, mm. That's what they want. That's their goal. It is not to secure our border. And we believe that Americans deserve more. Americans deserve better. They deserve the safety and security of, of a border. And we have to fight for that. And But it's really unconscionable that, that we're having to fight for that. The fact that you see Chuck Schumer say he is unwilling to secure yeah. our own border yeah. and put our American people and our children at risk um, is absolutely a disgrace. Is there a vote tonight? What, what, is there a cloture vote there tonight? Is. Yeah. And yes, about to go take it. And we will be standing at, unified as a Republican conference and voting that down, standing for the American people and saying they deserve better, and that's exactly what we're going to give them. Thank you, Senator Britt. Honestly, thank you thank very you. much uh, for all the things you're doing. Terrific stuff.